What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby, doing something exciting today. Something I've never done on my channel is specifically target catfish. So I'm gonna be fishing a pond today. What I'm doing, I'm getting set up. I'm gonna show you guys how to use a Carolina rig for catfish. Um, I use Carolina rigs a lot when I'm bass fishing, but today uh, we're gonna use it for catfish and I'm gonna tell you why. But first off, we got this egg sinker. We're gonna be throwing that, threading that down the line. And then I'm gonna be tying on this little swivel next. Okay, so I got 50 pound braid on. That way, whatever size catfish bites this, I can catch it. So, so far, got the swivel tied on, and I got the egg sinker. Goes up and down the braid. So, the reason you wanna do this is because you're gonna tie your hook on the other end, but when that fish grabs the bait, they can pull the bait without pulling the weight and that way they don't feel it. So now what we're gonna do next is tie on a piece of line uh, onto the end of this. I'm gonna use 17 pound fluorocarbon just because it's a good thickness, you don't break off too easy, and the fish can't see it. So the pond I'm fishing is fairly clear. So I'm gonna tie this fluorocarbon leader to the end of my, the other end of my swivel, just like this. cinch that knot down and I'm going to cut the tag end off. Okay, so now I got about a, I don't know, 15 inch leader and then I'm going to try to tie a treble hook on it right there. The reason I'm using a treble hook is just because it's easier to hook them. Uh, I'm going to be using some cut bait today. I'm going to try to catch a bluegill out of the pond here before uh, we start catfishing and that's what we're going to use for bait. But I'm using a treble hook because there's a ton of turtles in my pond and if one bites it I have a better chance of hooking them with a little treble hook and I want to get those turtles out of my pond. But anyway there's flathead in my pond, there's channel catfish and turtles and who knows what else. So we're going to try it out today, hopefully catch some fish. Um, we'll do a catfish catch and cook if we catch some, but there's the setup right there. You got the egg sinker, the swivel, tied to a fluorocarbon leader with a hook. And that's all you do. You slide it out there, the weight sinks to the bottom, and your bait, your worm, your fish, your chicken liver, whatever you're putting on your treble hook will kind of float up here, especially if you're fishing current in the river. It'll float up here and move around on the bottom, and it's a really good setup to catch catfish. But we're just using a tiny weight today since we're fishing a pond, there's no current, and I'm excited to get started. Let's go catch a bluegill. Oh, before we get started, I forgot to mention one thing. I got about an hour of daylight, and uh, it's probably gonna get dark on us. So I got these rattles. You wanna know, put those on the tip of your pole, and that way you know when you're getting a bite. I also have glow-in-the-dark little sticks that you can tape to the end of your pole, that way you see it bouncing up and down. So, pretty sweet. Remember, I also launched my new apparel line, Fishing with Norby Apparel, my new website, go check it out. It's linked down below. And I can't thank you guys enough for all your support so far. Let me know if you wanna see any other videos like this. Like I said, it's my first catfish video. I'm excited to, to put one out there for you guys. I like catfishing, just not near as much as I like bass fishing and, and fishing for panfish. So, anyways, let's get out there. All right, guys. To catch one of these bluegill, gonna put on a little chunk of a worm. Don't need much. Just pinch a little piece off. Got a bunch of worms here. And there we go. And then I got a tiny little hook. Just gonna thread the worm on the hook like this. Yep, just like I would a little jig hook. And Got a little split shot about a foot up, keep that worm down, and then put a little bobber on. That way, I'm just gonna let it sit out there. When bluegill takes it, I'm gonna catch him. We're gonna use him as bait for these catfish. Wash my hands off real quick. There we go. That's all there is to it. I was just 
sit and wait for a bluegill. Shouldn't take very long. Here we go, guys. I'm hooked up. I actually caught a crappie on the worm. Not a bluegill, a crappie. Decent crappie, but we want a bluegill. <laughs> That's funny. So it rained a bunch, the pond muddied up a little bit, and I had to come over to this side, but I've, I've got tapped twice now. Had to come over to this side, try to catch a bluegill. There's one hooked up, guys. Hopefully it's a little bluegill. It's fighting hard, whatever it is. There we go. All right, got us a little bluegill. This guy's pretty big. If we were using a whole bluegill, we would probably throw him back unless we were at like, like Gunnersville. But since we're just chunking him up, we use that guy right there. So what I'm gonna do to chunk him up, I'm just gonna cut little sections like this. And I don't know how big the catfish are in my pond. I know I've caught one or two big ones. But I'm probably just gonna use a little square about like that and chunk them up i'm gonna leave that off camera it's a little graphic and uh yeah just go ahead and put him on the catfish hook on that carolina rig toss him out and see what happens so there we go okay i'm getting hungry i'm gonna go in eat some dinner but i have my rod set up here leaning against the staircase so if one bites it while I'm eating dinner, I'm gonna know the rod's gonna fall down. I'm gonna look out the window. It's not gonna be leaning up against the staircase anymore. And I'm gonna run out to the pond there, go see what's on it. So we're gonna see what happens. It'll probably be dark. Have to get my wife, rope her into to filming me carrying a flashlight or something. But yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully we get something good tonight. Let's go. All right, guys. We looked outside and the pole fell down. Pole so fell we're going to go check it out. I'm excited. All right. Oh my gosh. What? I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> this is so funny. I know. Oh, oh. shoot. I got to take these bells off. I'm wrapping up my line. Scout, it's okay. <laughs> oh, he's mad. Scout, stay. <laughs> All right, bell's in the pocket. Scout, it's okay, stay. no. He's like, what is that noise? He's never heard bells before. No, Scout, stay. It's okay, just ignore him. Do you, is he still on there, honey? I don't know, I think so. I'm going to wait until you get down there. I think so. Gosh. He's gonna tear a screen off. There's nothing on there. Are you kidding? False alarm. So we got hit and uh, he's not on there anymore. I'm reeling it in. Let's look at it. Okay, there we go. Chunk of bluegill, still good. We're just gonna toss it out again, do the same thing. It's probably wind. No, it wasn't wind. I set that I set it up too good to be wind. There we go. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna run some line back and hopefully get them this time. All right, guys, round two. Here we go. Something pulled the rod down. Let's go. <laughs> Is it on? No. I said, I don't know. I tighten the drag. I'm about to set the hook. Is it on, babe? No, I don't know. Oh my gosh. It Dang. was drug off into the side of the pond. But nothing's on it. Gosh darn it, something had it. All right, I'm gonna take all this moss off. What are you gonna do differently? We're gonna try it one more time, and then if they don't eat it this time, we're gonna put on a piece of raw chicken. All right, we're gonna cast it out one more time. That's two bites. It's looking promising, let's go. Action. All right guys, pull fell over. Let's go see what's on it. Got me on the line here. Gonna drag up. Oh, I feel something on it. Oh! Is there one on it? Oh, I got, 
Oh, yeah, there is. Oh my gosh. It's heavy. Oh. Oh, come on. Is it's it a bass? Weeds. It's in these weeds. Oh, it's what huge, it? whatever it is. It is huge. Yeah. What do we got, guys? Oh, it's a huge catfish. Oh my gosh. Ooh. No way. Look at this, guys. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is so big. Oh my goodness sakes. Wow. What a giant catfish. Finally, we had like three fish pull the rod down and miss it. I know we Look probably put tail. one or two in the video. Yeah, wow. Looks like a turtle bit his tail or something. There's Ew. some big old snapping turtles in here. That's crazy. Let me try to take the hook out. I'll have to get some pliers. Come on now. You hooked him good. Yeah. There we go. Oh Are you going to throw him back? Yeah. I think so. We could do a catch and cook, but it's so late. Not in the mood to deal with him. Look at that. Can you see that good on the camera? Yeah. That's crazy. <clears throat> All right, guys. That was insane. There's some giant catfish in this pond. I snagged that one bass fishing. Just caught this. It's like a 10 pounder. He's fat. Look how fat he is. Big old belly. All right, let's release him. That's crazy. We might have to do a catfishing episode sometime. Oh, look at that. Can you see him? Look at him. Oh, he's ready. There he goes. Wow. He's going to have to go through all that moss. Maybe you should weeds. throw him. He might get stuck. Yeah, let me. Ew, they just bury themselves in the muck. <laughs> no, he's just trying to get out. Hmm. Yeah, maybe throw him. Yeah, we're just going to toss him over the weeds. Wow. Bye, How about buddy. that, babe? Hope you find your dad. <laughs> he is the dad. That's crazy. What do you think about that, babe? I think catfish are nasty, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, guys, that was a success. Um, with that, we're going to call it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that was nuts. We're going to have to do some more catfishing episodes. Let me know if you like this type of video. And, uh, yeah, we'll do some more. I'm mainly bass fish, crappie fish, bluegill fish out here. And there's a ton in here. But, um, obviously there's some good cats. So, we got to discover what's in the pond. But, make sure you guys subscribe for more fishing videos. And we'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby. This is what happens when Andrew tells me there's a catfish outside.